Hello everybody and welcome to our junior church service for February and it's wonderful to have you all with us. What's that? What's that above your head, Blues Bear? It says God is love. You're not bothered, are you? No. You keep your thoughts to yourself, don't you, Blues Bear? That's funny because the theme today is all about God being love. Love's a funny thing, isn't it? We have Valentine's Day in the middle of February, where it's all day, and then we have Mothering Sunday coming up, which is all about how your mum loves you and your dad loves you and your family looks after you and tells you, tidy your room and don't make any noise. Those sorts of love. And looks after you and feeds you. Well, I think we can make some noise. Shall we make some noise by singing our first song together? Thank you, Alex. And then afterwards, Julia's going to give us some thoughts to think about. Thank you, Julia. Right. That's part one. A story from Genesis 18. Abraham and Sarah have three visitors. One day, Abraham was sitting at the door of his tent. It was during the hottest part of the day. He looked up and saw three men standing nearby. Abraham went out to meet them, saying, Sirs, please come and rest under the trees. It is very warm today. I will bring you some water to drink and to wash your feet. I will get to you a meal, then you can go on your way refreshed. The three men said, thank you. Abraham hurried into the tent where Sarah and his wife was. He said to her, Please make some bread for our guests. Then Abraham ran to get some meat, which he cooked and gave to the men, along with Sarah's bread and a cup of milk. While the three men ate, Abraham stayed with them to look after them. The men asked Abraham, where is your wife, Sarah? In the tent, said Abraham. The men said, 
We will return in a year's time and Sarah will have a son. Sarah was listening at the door of the tent. Abraham and Sarah were very old, so she laughed to herself. My husband and I are too old to have a baby. The men asked, why did Sarah laugh? Why did she say, I am too old to have a baby? Is anything too hard for God? In a year's time, Sarah will have a son. Sarah was afraid. She lied. I didn't laugh, she said. You did laugh, said the men. The men ate their meal and left a year a year later. Sarah gave birth to a baby boy. Abraham and Sarah called him Isaac. Sarah said, God has made me laugh. Everyone who hears about this will laugh with me. Abraham and I are very old, but we have a baby, just as God said. Abraham and Sarah began the nation of Israel. Israel, the Jewish people, and Jesus came from that nation. Abraham and Sarah loved their baby Isaac very much. Just like your mum's dad's granddad's and grandma's love you. So I thought we'd think about what they do to show that they love you and how you know that they love you. So have a little think. Maybe they play with you. Maybe they help you to learn new things. Sometimes they'll get you special treats that they know you like. Like these flowers that my daughter got for me to show me that she loves me. But I thought a nice activity for you to do to show someone you love them is to make or just decorate some biscuits for them. Especially if you know which ones they like. Now I've made some simple biscuits and cut them out in different shapes and I've decorated some of them. Here's a jammy dodger that I just bought and got a little bit of icing and stuck some icing flowers on. So I've got a little bit more icing here for this one. And here's a little icing flower that I've been stuck on. But you can use any recipe and any type of decoration you like. But the important thing is to do something nice for somebody to show them that you love them. And then they'll know how you feel and that will make them feel loved too. Thank you, Julia, for that wonderful thought and for the chance to eat biscuits. Uh, thank you, Alex, for that reading. It was brilliant. Thank you very much. And there's only one song to do after that. And it's a good song for getting rid of lots of energy. So you need to be standing up and ready for dancing. Are you ready for Father Abraham? Oh, nice, right? 
right arm, left arm, right foot, left foot, and top your head, top your head. Father Abraham had many sons, many sons had Father Abraham, I am one of them, and so are you. Silence, oh, praise the Lord. So, right arm, left arm, right foot kick, left foot kick, and nod your head, nod your head, turn around. Turn around, oh, Father Abraham, many sons, many sons had Father Abraham, I am one of them, and so are you. Silence, so praise our Lord. So now you should be raving your right arm, waving your left arm, kicking your right foot, kicking your left foot, nodding your head and turning around, nodding your head and turning around, nodding your head and turning around. Sit down! Thank you. Oh dear. Do you enjoy that? Yeah, I could tell how energetic you were about it. Well done, Blues Bear. I'm going to ask Eva now to show us the craft activity. She's done a brilliant one. And following that, Annette will bring us our prayers. So, thank you, Eva. We are now going to show you how to make a craft to represent the story of Sarah, Abraham and Isaac. You will need some coloured pens and some paper. It just needs to be one sheet of paper and it can be any colour. Here's one we made earlier of Abraham and Sarah's tent. We can, and it would tell you that we can trust God and God keeps his promises. So, now we can make it. First what you do is fold the piece of paper in half. Then you fold it back out again and then you fold the corners in and then you fold the bottom in to where the um, bottom of the tent opens meet. So the first thing we're going to do now is draw Sarah, Abraham and Isaac. So I've done a rough sketch of them first and then um, I'm just going to go over them in pen. So I'm going to start off with drawing Sarah first. So first thing you need to do is draw the head. I went for an oval, I went for an oval one. And then you can like, yeah. You might want to do a rough sketch before you do this. Now we're going to draw a baby Isaac wrapped up in this blanket. We're going to do um, like the um, more detailed bits in a minute. Now we're going to do Abraham. The next bit we're going to do is God's message. You might need a parent to, a parent to help you with this. We can trust God. And then we are going to do God keeps his promises. So on the left hand corner we're going to put God keeps his. And then on the right hand corner we're going to put promises.
done. So the final bit we're going to do, if you want, you can decorate your tent like I've done here with flowers and then love hearts inside or and or you could um, put a background behind it and draw like the sky or something. If you're sticking it on the background, you need to put some glue on the back. I would recommend Brick Stick. And then you would stick it so then that bit is at the bottom. And then you might need a parent to help you with this. If not, that's fine. You could draw some stars in the background. And the moon. So here is our finished craft. I hope you enjoyed making it. God is love. And we live in God when we live in love. We pray for everyone we love. We pray for our families. We pray for our friends. We pray for our schools. We pray for our work. We pray for our neighbours. We pray for our world. We pray for our church. We pray for those who are hurt. We pray for those who are ill. We pray for all who care. We pray because you're always there. We pray because you are love. And you live in us and when we live in love. Amen. Thank you, Eva, for that. It'd be lovely if you can send us all pictures of your Abraham, Sarah and Isaacs in their tents. That would be lovely to see. And thank you, Annette, for bringing us our prayers. And thank you for all those people who sent their hearts as well. It was lovely. Thank you. And so we come towards the end of our service and we come to our last song. And since we've been talking about family and God being love, us, having God's love with us, I thought we would do As For Me In My House. And during which, John will bring us the blessing. So, lovely to see you all again. Lovely to share this worship with you. It's been wonderful. I hope you've had a lovely time. I hope you've danced around. And I hope you haven't been told off too much by your mums and dads. Or you haven't had to tell your mums and dads too much off for being silly and embarrassing you. Whichever way round that happens to be. Eat the yesterday bit, I'm really sorry. Okay, we're going to sing our last song together. As for me and my house, as for me and my family, as for me and my children, we will serve the Lord.
the Father, from whom every family in earth and heaven receives its name. Strengthen us with his Spirit, so Christ may dwell in our hearts today and forever. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. The only reason I made a mistake was because you were making a noise. Mm. I'm, I'm watching you.